breaking the cycle of weight loss and weight gain. And weight loss and weight gain is any solution that you try to apply to your lifestyle that is solely focused on weight loss is not sustainable. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's going to help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube, go to bodyconfidentbook.com sign up for updates the book comes out in september what's up everybody it's coach bronson here and today we're going to talk about a topic that comes up for me and my clients often and that is the struggle of gaining weight losing weight gaining it back again it's something that i help people understand why it's happening and how to work through the process of figuring out the the, the the foundational root causes of what's going on with weight gain in general and how we address that at the root level so that it never happens. You, you can lose weight and keep it off for years and years and years without having to worry about, is it going to come back? Because it's something you can control and it's something that once you understand why it happens, you can fix that thing and never have to worry about it again. Before we get into that, I want to make sure that you are getting all the information as quickly and as soon as possible when I'm putting videos out. So please, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. I put out videos at least twice a week, whether it's me talking about a, a topic, whether it's an interview I have with an expert, um, but I wanna make sure that as many people as possible are finding ways to understand their context and, and filter through the confusing information that's out there to help you move forward. All right, so click the button, click on the little bell so you're notified when I do have a new video that comes out. It's, if it's not me talking about a topic, if it's not Coach Nat and I talking about uh, something in our coffee talks on the weekend, or if it's not an interview, um, then there will be something that comes out on a regular basis that I hope is impactful for you. All right, so make sure you subscribe. When we talk about weight loss, when we talk about the yo-yo, the roller coaster that many people are on, I find in most people, the reason that they have a problem with weight gain in the first place is because there's something that is in their lifestyle that is causing what we, we, we refer to as metabolic dysfunction, metabolic syndrome. You talk to anybody about chronic diseases of modern society today, and they will tell you that 90% of all chronic diseases are a result of inflammation, metabolic dysfunction. Metabolic syndrome is the, the, the umbrella term for hypertension, insulin resistance, cardiovascular disease, dementia, um, all of the, the things that the farm companies make millions and billions of dollars on, all of the things that the medical institution thrive on human beings having to deal with today are caused by the things that we're putting into our body for the most part. Okay. So if we can understand that metabolic dysfunction is the problem, is the root cause, hormone imbalances, activating things in a way that throws off your body's homeostatic balance and makes your body have to do extra work in order to maintain function is what metabolic dysfunction is all about, okay? Think about it this way. Your body's metabolism is a combination of all of the things that your body has to do in order to function. Your biology, your neurology, and your physiology. Those are the three systems of metabolic function. Balance, keeping everything A-OK -okay is the goal. Everything that we do that makes things go out of balance chronically, consistently over a long period of time makes the system function improperly all the time, okay? It's, it's like you're running your engine in the red line everywhere you go. I'm going to the grocery store. I'm going to keep it in first gear and run it in the red line 9,000 RPMs even though I'm just going down the street. Okay. To get, to get my groceries, whatever it may be. I'm going to work. 
I'm going to rev it up and sit at the gas. I'm going to sit at the stoplight and keep my foot on the gas and rev, rev, rev as much as possible. You're going to burn your engine out. That's what metabolic dysfunction is. Our engines, our metabolism are getting burnt out and it's causing every system in our body to function improperly. One of those symptoms, one of the most common symptoms of metabolic dysfunction is weight gain, primarily body fat, water retention, all those types of things. When we are over fat, it is because there is something in our body that's not being activated properly or it's being activated too much and it's never getting a break, okay? So how do we fix that? The first thing we need to understand, in order to break the cycle of weight gain, and this is gonna, this is gonna break some people's brains, okay? Stop thinking about the problem being the weight. Weight gain is not your problem. Being overweight is not something that is going to fix the problem that caused you to be overweight. Being overweight is a symptom. When I rev my engine and I burn the oil out of my engine and I'm overworking it all the time, it overheats and the engine dies. The engine dying isn't the problem. The fact that I was overworking the engine is the problem. That's what we're looking at when we talk about weight loss. So the first thing to understand, the number one thing in this process to understand about the breaking the cycle of weight loss and weight gain and weight loss and weight gain is any solution that you try to apply to your lifestyle that is solely focused on weight loss is not sustainable, period. I've never found one that was. I've never seen anybody that's been able to do it for years the rest of their life they're maintaining it just because they're trying to lose weight the weight always comes back their willpower breaks down over time the things that they're doing in their life don't support that action over a period of time you can increase your exercise all day long if the only thing you're doing is increasing your cardio to lose weight you're going to lose weight initially at some point in time there will be a diminishing return on the amount of work that you can do to maintain that weight loss. At some point in time, you will not be able to work out enough in order to keep that weight off. It will start coming back if you haven't changed anything else. You can starve yourself, you can fast, you can reduce your calories all you want. At some point in time, there is a diminishing return on the removal of nutrition from your body and how it's impacting the rest of your metabolic function. Anything that you do, here's the kicker, the problem isn't weight, the problem isn't extra fat, the problem is metabolic function. Your metabolism isn't working well. So if you are focused on weight loss only, anything you do adds to the stress that your metabolism is already undergoing, okay? Here's what's happening, you're creating a cycle. Wanna lose weight, so you focus on a solution that's gonna help you lose weight. Anytime you do that, you're overworking your body, or you're reducing the, the nutrition that your body's getting. Those are the only two things. You're, you're overworking it, you're doing more than you need to, or you're decreasing the things that your body actually needs to function well, especially if you're focusing on a deficit concept. I'm gonna starve myself to lose weight, great. Starving yourself by definition means less nutrition. You are undernourished by definition. How do we change what we're doing? We start by changing what we're thinking about. If metabolic dysfunction is the reason why I've lost, I'm gaining weight, then how do I make my metabolism function, okay? How do I improve my nutrient density, improve my bioavailability, improve the satiety factors of the food that I'm eating naturally that balance my hormones so I fit my hormones and my physiology, my biology, and my neurology are helping me manage what I'm eating instead of me having to use willpower and convince myself against the artificially processed foods, foods that are chemically altered to make me eat more and try to win that battle over a long period of time. If I'm naturally supporting satiety, if I'm naturally supporting the things that my body needs, it's easier for me to eat the right amount without overeating. The food that I'm eating is providing the function that I need. If I include physical activity at an appropriate level and I work consistently without overdoing it and I get rest and recovery like I should, if I'm moving weight to improve my lean mass and build muscle, then those are things that are supporting metabolic function. They are not focused on losing weight. If I can do those things, 
then I'm going to fix the metabolism. I will remove the dysfunction and then the weight loss yo-yo will stop. It happens every time. If you want to stop the roller coaster of losing weight, gating it, then losing it again. If you want to stop the back and forth of I'm on my plan, I'm off my plan, I'm on my plan, I'm doing a challenge, I need to do this, I have to get on a fast, I'm going to start again next month. If you want to stop all of that stuff, build a lifestyle around managing and maintaining your function at the metabolic level. And it doesn't have to get sciencey, right? We're not talking about autophagy, we're not talking about mitochondrial health. It doesn't require that level of complexity, guys. You know, I'm not, I'm not telling you that you need to do everything you can to improve your mitophagy, your mitochondrial performance, efficiency, life, quantity, density, your autophagy, get red light therapy and do all these other kind of things. No, that's a level of detail that you don't need to worry about yet if you're just trying to build consistency for your health and lose some weight. The best way to lose weight is to stop trying to lose weight. Understand why you have the weight in the first place, what it means as a symptom of metabolic function, and then fix that. Your life will change dramatically when you focus on making your body work better instead of making your body look better. Take it easy, guys. I hope this helps. As always, I'm here. If you have questions, throw a comment in and make sure you subscribe so that you can get more information down the road. Hey there, did you know that I have a free community on Discord? If you go to discord.coachbronson.com, you can join my community, you can meet other people, you can engage in a group of individuals who are all searching for and having success in finding their context and the solutions that will work best for them. Hop yourself in there, discord.coachbronson.com. See you soon.